you're my friend, raise your hand. Hmm. Okay. So most of you are not going to understand what I'm about to tell you. Until you're the age I am, and I'm dead. But I'm going to tell you anyway. Because I want to wake you up to the switch that happened to me. Which is the switch that's going to happen to you. Yeah, I know you're hella woke. You're at sorority for fuck's sake. One thing you're not woke enough to, I am H-O. If you were born white, chances are you're going to stay white. But no matter how much you dread it, deny it, Botox it, unless you die young, you're going to get old. A little history here. In 1967, when I was 16, I ran away to join the youth revolution. I wasn't alone. In the 1960s, America, which we spelled with three Ks, was an anthill swarming with runaway kids schlepping our belongings on our backs. Most were in their 20s. I was in my teens, so naturally all the guys wanted to fuck me. I wanted to fuck all the guys and all the girls. I settled for the guys. Hashtag scary to be gay in the olden days. Fast forward 51 years. Switch, I'm old. 67 to be exact. I have two kids older than most of you. I have three grandkids. I have a worn out hip, which makes it painful to hike and to have sex. My two favorite things, not in that order. <laughs> I hike anyway, slowly when I have to, fast when I can. And I have sex anyway, hard and fast, whenever I can. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you think I'd be oversexed because I'm 67? Think again. <laughs> sex better not be done with me because I am so not done with sex. <laughs> My last girlfriend was 20 years younger than me. We had a beautiful, deep connection and the best sex of both of our lives. But sometimes when I looked into her eyes, I saw her seeing herself in 20 years, when she'd be 67 and I'd be, gulp, 87. I guess she saw that too, because in the end, she said she couldn't commit to someone so much older. Or maybe she's one of those people who just can't commit, period. <laughs> I don't know. But I do know I get that a lot from the women on Tinder I like. You seem great, but the age difference, now that's a switch. 50 years ago, older men were hitting on me. Now I'm hitting on women who think I'm too old for them. But I'm not giving up on any of it. This is Los Angeles. Money can fix anything. <laughs> shot up with filler to cover the wrinkles. I get my burgers wrapped in lettuce to cover my ass. There's just one thing I can't cover up. I was born in 1951. Full stop. I always thought I'd be immune to what happens to women growing old in America now spelled with one C. I mean, the normal rules didn't apply to me when I was young, so why should they apply to me now? They shouldn't, but they do. That invisibility thing? Yep, big time. And I'm not just talking about the culture. I'm talking about our culture, resistance culture, sisterhood culture, queer culture, I can't tell you how many times I've heard cool, woke queers like everyone here talking about little old ladies while I'm standing right there being a medium-sized old lady. <laughs> I have five minutes here, people. No time for more examples, so I'll get to the point. I want you to help me switch this shit up. I, I want us to make the world safe for everyone. We're all about that, aren't we? 
Making the world safe for everyone. So would you like a few quick tips? Yes. I knew you would. <laughs> Add age to the list when you're thinking about diversity. Gina did. Pretty sure that's what I'm doing here. Add ageism to that list of isms you're training yourself and others not to be. Do what you can to switch off the ageism, yours and other people's. Consider it an investment in your future, because someday you're going to look back and understand what I'm saying right now. Maybe when you're 67 and I'm dead. <laughs> but I'll be rooting for you from wherever I am, you wrinkled, gray-haired, <laughs> lusty, 